one fall to a finish, and it is for the Ring of Honor World Championship. In this match, the first wrestler to secure the World Championship belt hanging above the ring will be the winner. Introducing first to my right, the challenger, wrestling out of Tijuana, Mexico, weighing 196 pounds, the generic luchador, El Generico! His opponent to my left, wrestling out of Maryville, Quebec, Canada, weighing 269 pounds, he is the Ring of Honor World Champion, Kevin Steen. It's one of the greatest rivalries ever in sports. It's the modern day Flair and Steamboat. It's the Celtics and the Lakers, the Yankees and the Red Sox. Notre Dame and USC. It's El Generico and Kevin Steen. Tail of the tape for this championship match. Forget the tail of the tape because the bell has sounded and Ladder War 4 is underway. Exchanging blows in the middle of the ring. Former tag team partners, former best friends, now bitter enemies. <laughs> Twisting Tornado DDT. Yakuza kick. Quickly, Steen rolling to the floor. Number a ladder stationed around ringside. Whoa! Our first tope suicida. So many months away from Ring of Honor action has been El Generico. You have to wonder, has that time benefited him? He seems to have added some muscle. Seems to be bigger. I know that the time away benefited Kevin Steen greatly. He came back healthy, renewed, and went on to become the Ring of Honor World Champion. And the same could be said for El Generico. I think something that you can attribute to El Generico is the hatred factor, that the lovable character we knew of as El Generico is no more. This man is set to destroy Kevin Steen once and for all just in a, ladder war. Just a simple jab oh! from the ladder, but then a punctuation sending the ladder right into the face of Kevin Steen. Steen fish hooking the eyes in the mask of El Generico, but Generico is now biting him. I've never seen El Generico this ruthless before. What kind of a dark place did El Generico go to in those eight months we have not seen him? Well, again, and that's, and that's the question. Balance that with how badly El Generico would love to be the new Ring of Honor World Champion. And hold, above that ring is a brand new Ring of Honor World Championship belt. You saw Steen bring the the older version down here to ringside and tossed it, toss it aside with disdain. Club from behind by Steen. Steen demanded that brand new Ring of Honor championship belt be made as part of his agreement with Ring of Honor along with well, the, the, uh, the package pile driver. The, the pile driver back being legal. ROH officials had no choice but to comply, so there it is, the brand new 30 pounds of gold suspended high above the ring. Generico trying to hoist Steen. Can he do it? Generico hits the ropes. Uh-oh. Oh, oh, oh my oh. goodness. The barbaric effects and nature of ladder war 
have been introduced as El Generico plummeted right through that metal ladder. And Kevin Steen loves it. Montreal wrestling historian Patrick Laprat here at Final Battle as well. Shook hands, said hello to him briefly earlier today. He said he wouldn't miss this chapter of Steen and Generico. There's no way he could. Kevin, three years ago, it started right here oh in my, New York City. Exactly. And it all ends here. This is final battle, Kevin. This is the final confrontation between Generico and Steen. Steen claims, oh, he is going to leave final battle. One of two things. The yes. He's either going to leave champion or as a corpse. See, and... and and the thing that Steen is alluding to, comments that I've made. Uh oh. Watch out. Watch Cannonball. out. Cannonball. Watch out. <laughs> comments that I have made about watching these two men, watching Steen and Generico destroy each other. And how much it bothered me as a father of two sons to see these two young men oh. have such personal hatred for each other that they would be willing to destroy their own bodies to put away the other. No pinfalls, no submissions. The referee can't stop this. The man, Nigel McGuinness, handpicked to dethrone Kevin Steen's reign of tyranny. Ring of Honor's Crimson Knight rises. Well, I just, you know, think about this. I think if it wasn't Nigel McGuinness as the matchmaker, if it was still Jim Cornette, I don't think Generico would get this opportunity. I agree. I don't think, oh, jeez. I don't think Cornette ever saw in Generico what Nigel McGuinness does. And that's, again, it's different flavors of ice cream. Everybody has their own preference. I don't think Cornette saw Generico as the answer. He gave him the opportunity in Florida. Oh. And I don't think he was going to do it here. But with Nigel McGuinness now as the matchmaker, that opens the door for Generico. That opens the door for Ladder War. You can't pin Steen. You can't make him submit. Maybe you could outclimb him. Well, you could give Generico the speed advantage over Steen, but oh, if this keeps going, I, I think El Generico is going to be Generico, immobilized. Generico's been on his feet for a scant few seconds since crushing that ladder in half. With his own body. Yeah, with his own body, the this twisted frame. This hen's, but he's more broken than the fucking ladders, you hear me? Well, you heard it right there. <laughs> Nigel McGinnis. Oh, my. Selected Kevin Steen's kryptonite as the man to take the title away from Steen, but Steen is in full control of El Generico right now. As the fans here at the Hammerstein Ballroom try to rally behind the generic luchador. Well, Generico is certainly the most resilient athlete I've ever seen here in Ring of Honor. Oh my, oh my goodness. That barricade. The barricade could not withstand the hatred that Kevin Steen has for El Generico. This is a public maiming that we're seeing right here, Kevin. The faces of all of our ringside attendants, Bobby Cruz and Carrie Silken, 
tell a very grim story. Well, again, you know, Gary Silken is the founder pioneer ring of honor. You wouldn't, it wouldn't be final battle, and it wouldn't be a world title but match. Look at Wait Generico. A Generico opportunistic. Setting that ladder up. That's the reason why El Generico was selected by Nigel McGinnis, Kevin. El Generico has heart. He has passion. The passion to not only be Ring of Honor World Champion, but to defeat Kevin Steen. Oh, wait a minute now. Are you saying that Jay Lethal does it? Are you saying Davey Richards does it? Are you saying Eddie Edwards does it? Now he's beaten all those men. He's gotten past all those men, I should say. There's one standing difference between El Generico and the rest of those men, Kevin. El Generico has had blood spill from his body, courtesy of that man. Now, well, that's a very good point. Not only his blood, but the blood that he considered a bond between well, yeah, the two. Right, that bond, and, and I, Generico's career has not been the same since that fateful night and final battle a few years ago. This is beyond personal at this point. This is... A fight to the death. We may never see one of these men ever again see, at the end of this match. The, and here's the thing, you know, Steen is so in control of his atmosphere, you know. Like he hears a, he hears something from the crowd and he automatically goes off into another direction. Yeah, it's psychotic brilliance. But at the same time, that sadistic thirst for violence to prove a point. Oh. Jamming that enormous ladder right into the skull of El Generico, who's now right down on top of us. He has no idea where he is, Kevin. Referee Todd Sinclair right there. Checking Generico. His entire face and skull exposed there. Oh, Generico tried to get back on his feet, but he just collapsed under his own weight. Oh, he's rubber-legged. And Kevin Steen is taking his time, setting up that ladder, and he's going to claim his brand new piece of property. He demanded it, and now he's going to climb and retrieve it. So now Kevin Steen slowly crawling, climbing up. Trying to measure just how high you need to go to reach up to be able to wait a minute now. Generico's got a hold of Steen's leg. Generico pulling Steen. Is he going to be able to pull him down? Yes. He does. He gets it. I don't think Kevin Steen could quite comprehend how Generico is even standing. Never mind fighting. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. and suplex into the ladder. There's still life left in the generic luchador. Listen to the ballroom. The enormous welts on his back. Generico crawling slowly. Kicking off his arch nemesis, scaling that ladder, but just pulled right off by Steen. Generico once again. Oh no! How much can you possibly hate another human being to take that man and drive him neck first? into a steel ladder. And now Generico begins the climb. Step by step, Generico getting closer and closer to the world title. Kevin Steen looking up. How is Steen still mobile? Oh, no. Oh, my. No, 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 no. Oh, Jesus. Is everybody okay? 
Bobby Cruz has been in the line of fire all night. Can we take that one off of there? Kevin Kelly, this, this is doomsday, this is final battle, and you have to wonder, are any of us going to survive? Right, well, again, we have to be very mindful of our surroundings at all times, and at the same time, do what we can to... Wait a minute now, Steen's starting to climb, but Generico's right there. They go back toe-to-toe -to -toe again. Generico, wait a minute, where's Generico? Look at this. Oh, countered by Steen in midair. Steen knew exactly what was about to happen. He drives the knee right into that injured back of Generico. He that is same, out to cripple him. That same region of the back that suffered so greatly early on when Generico was driven on top of that ladder. And now with distance created, Kevin Steen is going to begin the long, arduous climb up once again. The light at the end of Kevin Steen's worst nightmare is approaching. One step closer than the last time. Generico, though, able to pull Steen back down. Steen once again throwing Generico to the outside. And Steen realizing that he wasn't going to be able to get up there with Generico pulling on him. Steen comes back down the ladder from his own accord to send Generico back out again to climb again. And once again, Steen sees Generico. Steen's coming on out. Wait a minute now. Steen realizing. Oh, uh -oh, not again. Oh! Once again, right through that guardrail. Kevin Steen demanding, practically begging El Generico to just stay down. Kevin Steen is not opposed to not just maiming a person, but if he has to, he'll kill a man to keep well, that Ring of Honor title. Now what Steen has. Oh no. We saw this with Eddie Kingston in Providence with a table, but this time it's a steel ladder. Not done softening him up yet. Kevin Steen decides to go with another. Every time torture. Steen thinks he's got Generico weakened, he stops himself, but he says, no, not yet. What is going through the mind of Kevin Steen and what does he have in store for El Generico? The look on the face of Kevin Steen and his eyes are just frightening. What could possibly be under this ring that has enamored Kevin Steen? A table. Pulled out now the table. Oh no. Watch your head, Caleb. He's gonna come right over the top of us. Perhaps carrying the table as a symbol of El Generico's final stand. Generico crawling, starting to head toward that ladder. After being thrown violently into the barricade on a number of occasions. You can hear the steering in the crowd, the buzz. And now Generico realizes what Kevin Steen has in store for him. Oh, Steen, please have mercy, come on. Mercy is not a word in the vocabulary of Kevin Steen, here no. we go. No, Generico escapes. 
Oh my goodness! Oh! Kevin Steen falls on his own sword. Generico asking for help. He's sending our members of our ring crew. What is this bullshit? What did he just tell them? They must understand perfect Spanish. Oh my God. Look at the size of that ladder, fans. Generico, if he's able to set this ladder up, I mean, he would be able to finally reach that world title. El Generico utilizing what could be the nuclear missile of doomsday. The great equalizer, the enormous ladder. that almost touches the very tip of that brand new title belt. Oh, wait a minute now. Watch Steen right above us. Watch Steen. Oh, no. Oh, no. Top rope brain buster. No. Oh, my goodness. Oh! My God, El Generico has just been driven through a table. that El Generico will be able to continue. Kevin Steen has used that very maneuver to secure his Ring of Honor world title on numerous occasions in 2012. And on the final battle of 2012, will that seal El Generico's fate? And will Kevin Steen walk out of Doomsday with his championship. So Kevin Steen now going to the top of this enormous ladder. He needs to climb higher, but will he be able to reach back and get the belt? Generico is back in the ring. How is Generico? Unbelievable. Generico is back on his feet after being sent through a table. My God, how does he do it? Generico using the ladder as a battering ram. Steen is down. What in the world is this? Oh. Screams of agony. Oh, you feel every ounce of pain that's coursing through the body of El Generico right now. For someone who wears a mask, his emotions are plainly obvious. On the skin-piercing cold December's night, El Generico is being put through the meat grinder. All right, now, wait a minute. No. No! Oh my God!
The metal ladder did not give an inch. That is flesh and blood being driven through well, a metal ladder. Steen is back up again, but it looks as if he's too far to one side to be able to get that title belt down. He's got to move that ladder, Kevin. Oh, no. Here we go. Here we go. Package Whoa. pile driver, no. Countered by Generico. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Package pile driver on Steen. Revenge, Kevin Kelly. Revenge drives El Generico up this ladder, up this mountain. Will El Generico be the savior of Ring of Honor? Slowly he climbs, but Steen is there to cut him off. I don't know if it translates through video, Kevin, but you got to see the welts on El Generico's oh. back and lacerations to really feel the effect, but there it is right there. That is what we are witnessing, and that is what we are experiencing firsthand here at the Hammerstein Ballroom in New York City, ladies and gentlemen. Well, now Kevin Steen got that ladder from the outside. Now what? Oh, another layer of brutality now. I only shudder to think what this is, Kevin. Well, he's trying to join the halves together. Is he going to need the? Is he going to need the? He still has to get. The title down. I don't even think he's. I don't even think he's worrying about the title anymore, Kevin. I, I, I don't think this is a Ring of Honor title match anymore. I think that's a fair point, but again, the title does hang in the balance, and somebody's got to get it sooner or later. Look at how close Steen is, but he realizes now that he can't do it. Steve. And if he goes, see now he's trying to walk that ladder back, but it's braced by the other ladders. Generico climbing on the opposite side. And now these two men. I hate you. Oh my God. No. Steen biting the fingers of Generico. Ten feet in oh the air. Oh my God, it's so dangerous. Oh. Blatant blow blow. Just like three years ago, what started this whole thing. No. Oh no. No. Oh my God. Kevin Steen. Steen now going to the top. Steen inches away. Steen's got it in his hand. Kevin Steen. Generico motionless. Ladies and gentlemen, Kevin, Kevin Steen. Kevin Steen has done it. Kevin Steen has retained the Ring of Honor world title. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of Ladder War 4 and still, Ring of Honor World Champion, Kevin Steen! There's a reason why, after every ladder war in pass, they say, never again. They will say it after ladder war four. Take a look at some of the collisions, the high impact violence that was delivered.
like Kevin Steen and El Generico. But there you can see the resilience, the fight put up by El Generico. What a warrior. Fought to the bitter end. Watch Steen go through the ladder. Both men fought guts and heart. Everything that they wanted to do here was a turnaround by Steen. Watch this. Generico, no, that was yeah. The, that was the earlier one. There was one where he turned it into a backbreaker. Yakuza kick scored by Generico. You that got, was early on. You got to hand it to Generico here. He fought Kevin Steen to the very end, Kevin. He fought Steen's match. Generico almost yep. won, but at the end, this was the difference maker. This torturous structure of sadism. The package pile driver leading Steen to claim the title. So while honor lives in the tag team division here in ROH as we end final battle 2012,